Jack it up. Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the panel stream mod. This is going to be a tutorial showing you how to download everything, how to get everything installed on your computer and actually to record in 360 on your Minecraft world or a Minecraft server. But yeah, the tutorial online that gives you on the website is terrible. I've spent the past four hours straight trying to get this on my computer and it's not very clear the way they describe it on the website so I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step method all the links in, are going to be in the description for all the websites and all the downloads uh, this will take maybe about 10 minutes of your time but you will get there in the end and as long as you follow step by step we'll get there so what we're going to do first is we're going to come over to this website and we're going to be downloading FFmpeg uh, just leave the stuff here like it is and we're going to click download FFmpeg but first just to make sure you want to make sure the first one's selected, the first one's selected, and the first one's selected, just on all these three. Unless you know if your architecture is either 64-bit or 32. Mine is 64-bit, usually most modern computers are now 64-bit. But if you think yours is 32-bit, go search it. But mine is 32-bit, so I'm going to keep it on that, and I'm going to go download. Now, I have got loads, I've tried this so many times, and I've got probably hundreds of downloads of these. But anyway, you're going to download that. So once that's downloaded, we'll come back and we'll go and check out what we have to do next. So once the FFmpeg download is complete, what you want to do is you want to come over to this website and we're going to be downloading Python. Now this is quite an important part to the tutorial as well. So what you're going to do is come down to this website, scroll down to the bottom until you see downloads. And what you're going to get is this thing here. So again, if you know your computer is a 64-bit, download this one. If you don't, download this one here. But I'm going to be downloading this one because mine is 64 bit. Make sure it's the installer. You want to click it, and again, it's going to download Python on your downloads. So once you've done that, let's go on to the next step. After that's downloaded, you want to come to this website. I'll again have this in the description. And what you want to do is once you're on the website, you want to come down to this wee green box over here that says clone or download. You're going to click that and then click download zip. And again, that's going to download another zip file onto our downloads. So once that's downloaded, you want to come over to this website here. Again, I'll have this in the description. This is a panel stream mod. This is what we're actually downloading. And you come to this funny website and you have all this kind of 3D view. But you're just going to come over here, click the left one, and it brings you straight to download. So I'm doing this for 1.10.2. But again, if you do want to do this for 1.8, then you can do that down there and so on. But yes, so I'm going to click download here. It's going to download this. Again, I'm going to have to go through this process. Again, just go through this. It gives the gives a person obviously ad revenue off of it so every penny counts you know so click on that it should download now and if we go back I want to say something quickly as well if you don't know how to download Forge go and look that up because it's going to take too long in the video to explain it but Forge is extremely easy to download you literally just go to the website and make sure you just download the 1.10.2 version and you put it into your launcher again if you don't know how to do that search it on YouTube there's hundreds of tutorials but anyway, I'll show you how to put the mod into Forge once you've downloaded Forge as well later on. So as you can see, that's us now downloaded all of the files that we need. So I'm just going to drag them all onto my desktop just so we can do what we need to do with them. Again, make sure you just click keep for this there. Drag that on there as well. So here, well done, there we go. So that's us got all the files we need here. Now I'm just going to quickly, you know, actually just on your desktop, what you need to do is you have to have some sort of um, unzip or archive thing to unzip your folders. Now you can, I think I use WinRAR, so I'd go search that, yeah, open with WinRAR. Go download load that, you can get that for free and this will be able to unzip your files. So just go and search WinRAR and go through the downloads and stuff like that. Again, I'm not going to go over that in this video. So again, extract here. I should put it onto... Since I've already got all these files, I'm just going to just click yes to whatever. You, you won't have that because you won't, you won't have this downloaded before. But, yes, yeah, so you're going to click all these. And I think this has went over to my other desktop. Let me just check. So, yes, I'm going to do the same for this as well. My, it's on the other desktop. I'll just drag them over in a second. You want to just do extract, extract here. This should just do all the same stuff again. So, this is the MPEG. That I just This is this one. And the one we just done there is this one over here. So that's that one. You want to again, you want to double click this. You want to go through the process of going through this 
Um, I don't, I've already downloaded this, so you just go through the process, making sure um, that you just click next and yes or whatever for everything. Just leave it all in default, all the settings should be the same. But yeah, you keep going through that. Mine, mine's are just downloading on over on the other side of my desktop here. Is here. Um, I've already downloaded it. Oh no, yeah, I've, it already exists for me, so I'm just I've just downloaded it again really quickly. So that's how I've done that. So we've downloaded Python. We've unzipped all the folders. The last thing we've got to do is put this in our mod folder. So what you're going to do is you want to come down to the bottom of the search bar. Um, I don't. Yep, search bar's down here. I'm on my left, my left screen just now. You want to type in run, and then hit enter. And then once you do that, again it's on my other desktop. You want to you want to type in percentage app data percentage. Once you've done that, you just want to click OK. And then once you've done that, you want to come up here and click dot Minecraft. Once you're on dot Minecraft, you want to go over to mods. And as you see, I've already got this in this folder. All you need to do is drag it in here. But again, I've already got it in there, so I don't need to do it. So we cross that out, and that's us got the mod. So I'll just move that over there so it's out of our way. And also Python, we've done that. We don't need these things here either. So let me just move these also. And what we want to do next is come down to our search bar again and type in CMD. And that stands for Command Pro Prompt. Sorry. You want to click Enter, and again, it's on my other screen. Uh, what we've got here now is we want to add this to our path. Now what we do with this is we're going to type in Python. Now don't type this in just yet, but let's just prove it. So when I type this in, um, it comes for me it works, so I've got that in. But what you guys need to do on yours is you want to come down to search. You want to type in control panel. This is just depends. This works for everyone depending on if you're on Windows t 10 or Windows 7. It doesn't matter. Type in control panel. Go to system and security. Go down to system, and once you've clicked on system, you want to come down to the left, oh, sorry, come over to the left, it says advanced system settings, click on that, and that brings up another menu. You want to come down to the bottom right, where it says environment variables, dot dot dot, click on that one, and then you want to navigate to, just come using your scroll bar, to path, now you want to double click on that, and then click edit text, now as you can see, I have got this thing here. Now I'll put this in the description because you have to add this to your pathway. I'll put both of these in the description. So Python, you have to copy and paste this and put this at the start of it. So again, making sure that you've got this comma, eh, sorry, colon, semicolon. Make sure you've got that there because then that splits all these up because you already have ones on this. You want to come all the way to the end as well and you're going to add an FFmpeg. Again, making sure your last one has the semicolon behind it. So again, both of these will be in the description, making sure that the FFmpeg is at the end and making sure that the Python is at the start. And then you're just going to click OK once you've, both, once you've done that. OK. And again, OK. So really quickly, guys, I've just realized when I finished the recording, what you want to do here, just make sure it's that. That's all I want, all I want to see, FFmpeg. Now, once you've got that, then you can follow in the next step. It's just that it mucks up things if you've got lots of numbers and letters and stuff like that in front of it. But I thought I'd just add that in quickly. So one of the last things we need to do on the file side of things is you want to come over to your files and you want to navigate. Oh sorry, you want to navigate to the thing on the left here, and you want to go to your Windows C drive. So there should be like a C. Double click on that. Now with both of these things in the background here that we've just got, we've got the these two folders, you're going to copy and paste both of these folders and you're going to drop them in here, okay? So make sure it goes move to Windows C. Once you've done that, um, make sure you just accept everything. I'm not going to do it because it's already in there. You're just going to cross it out and then that's you got that done. So what you want to do now is you want to load up Minecraft. So I'm going to click that. Again, making sure you've selected the right launcher. Make sure it's on 1.10.2 if you're using that mod. So again, here it is here, 1.10.2, it says Forge, Edit Profile, it says Release 1.10.2, and I've got that there. All you want to do now is click Play, and then go into your actual Minecraft. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in a second, but what we want to do, what we want to do after we've loaded it, so this is, I'm just going to show you to do this before, make sure you do this after your Minecraft is loaded. Uh, I'm going to again reopen this because... 
CMD. I'm going to just reopen this again because it worked for me before, but it wouldn't have worked to you. You need to have to re reload it again. And then what you're going to type in this time is, again, make sure these are still on your desktop as well because you don't want them. You also want them in, you want them in two places, but you still want them on your desktop, so make sure to keep them on your desktop as well. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is type in Python space uh, i'm going to type in desktop make sure you have a capital k and once you've done that i will have the rest for you to copy and paste in the description let me just copy and paste this bit uh, like that <clears throat> so like this you're going to click enter and as you can see now nothing nothing happens but that that's good that's what's meant to happen so again i'll leave this in the description just make sure you type in python desktop make sure it's a capital d and then I'm going to put this after the P, this in the description. I'm going to copy and paste that. Control V, make sure it's Control V. Put it into here. Once you've done that, you just want to minimize it. Don't cross it out. Um, but again, do this. Make sure you do this after your Minecraft is loaded. Make sure you do it after your Minecraft is loaded. So if you've just done it before your Minecraft is loaded, cross it out. Load your Minecraft. Come back and do the, what i just done there. Now once you've done that, um, we'll show you the next step and I'll show you once Minecraft is loaded up, so let me just give, give me a second. Okay guys, so once you've loaded up Minecraft and you have done the command that I've just told you to do, you're going to want to come over to OBS and this is how you're going to record your screen, okay? So, I've already got this set here, I'm just going to delete that because you don't need that. We're going to click plus, we're going to go over to media source, click OK, just create a new one, untick the local file. And then where it says input in this box here, right, I'm going to have, again, something else in the description. And you're going to copy and paste that, and you want to put it in here. So this is what you're copying and pasting. So this makes sure that Minecraft streams to the server, and then OBS takes it off the server. Again, this is just all within your files and stuff like that, but that, that's more or less how it works. I'm going to click OK, and then that's that part done, okay? So f for the next part, when we're in Minecraft... You're gonna, it's going to record to OBS, so I'm going to show you that working in just a second, but we're going to jump over into Minecraft, and I'm going to show you what to do next. So once you've done everything we've just done previously, again, you're going to want to do the command prompt thing, where you type in your Python and stuff, you want to do that now, once you've loaded up Minecraft. Again, I've already explained it before, so just do what I've done, and then do the OBS thing once you've done that. So once you've done all of them, you want to come to either single player or multiplayer. I'm just going to do it multiplayer. We're going to come over to Hypixel just for example. I'm going to load into Hypixel. And then this is the part that you'll know if it works or you know if it doesn't work. Now this is what I got to every time and it never worked for me. So we'll see if it works for us just now. Again, let's just load in Minecraft, let the world load up a wee bit. And F4 at the top of your keyboard, wherever you are, if you're on a laptop or a PC or whatever. You should see F4, you want to click F4, and once you do that, it should maybe lag a wee bit, and then you go, as you see at the top right of my screen, I now have a little red button or red circle that indicates that it's now recording, okay? So what that means now is we're going to jump over to OBS, and I'll show you what it looks like in OBS. Okay, great. So now, once you're in OBS, you should see this. Now, this is great. This means it's working. And when you walk about Minecraft, let me just do that just now. When you walk about Minecraft, as you can see, let me just walk about. You can actually see it moving. Again, it's a bit laggy, but that's just because I'm doing 50 things at once here. But as you can see, the screen is moving. And when you record this and you upload this to YouTube, and you select the right defaults and whatever to upload it in a 3D video, it will be interactive, you'll be able to move around with your screen, you'll be able to, if you're on a PC, you'll be able to click and you can see about 360 view, and you can see behind you, in front of you. It's really, really, really cool, um, and it's a very, very cool way of playing Minecraft, so, especially if you're wanting to record for viewers. But that, overall, is, again, that's how you, that's how you do it. So, obviously, when you're in OBS, you want to record it, because, obviously, it's just a live feed off the screen. Again, you want to click start recording. That's obviously a, a big part of it because if you don't do that, you're not going to get any footage. But anyway, if you have any problems with this, um, I did spend hours and hours and hours getting this right. So I don't think I've missed anything in this tutorial. Everything seems to be working perfect. I've tried this several times. So if it's not working for you, ask me in the description 
So I'll ask me in the comments and I'll make sure to try and sort out the problem you've got. But yes, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video and again, goodbye. Yeah.